I felt like starting a new BR run was very necessary. I don't know, man. I feel like I have to win at least nine games. No joke. Me? I have to win at least nine games for me to have a chance to walk away with a diamond. Took that loss in the previous BR video. And I don't know, man. That team was actually very good, too. But I, I, I have a chance, at least, hopefully, to draft another really good team. There's probably a lot of new players that have been discovered since the last time I've uh, drafted because that was over a week ago, I'm pretty sure, so maybe. Like, if people have those team epics done, then hopefully those diamonds will be showing up. Anyway, we all know the deal. We sure as hell know the deal. <laughs> Vladdy again. This is what I'm talking about. I think this is... Ah, uh, no. No, it's not. I was going to say, I think this is almost identical to the last round, last time I was able to get Vlad, because... I mean, Andrew Miller... Might be one of the best lefties in the game right now. No, no doubt. No doubt. Because he does have that changeup. Jake Lamb, too. Holy shit. This team might be... Amazing already. Edwin Diaz does have... The thing about Diaz, though, he only has the fastball and the slider. I like that. I do not want to have somebody with not a good variety of pitches. Need at least a changeup or something. Then we're, there, we're in business. That would be good. So this is the plan. Try to get some players with not bad inside edges. Because Moylan has minus 9 today versus... Oh, wait. Versus. Hits per 9 and Ks per 9. So his Ks per 9 is 46. Fuck that. Screw it. I, I might just take him anyway to waste a pick. Obviously, I'm not taking Graveman. Sanchez. Saladino. I mean, nobody really has good speed or good power. I might just take him anyway. Just in case. He has a crazy inside edge one day, just wasting the pen right now, pretty much. So what I've been noticing too, common rounds don't seem to show up for a bit. And that's annoying. Right now, I can't even waste a pick in the pen, so I need to take somebody. Calhoun or Franklin? I guess Calhoun right now. I mean, that was a, that was a toss-up. All right. Wow. Here we go. Here is one of the two of the team epics. Ozzy Smith and Victor Martinez. This might be obvious though. This might be obvious. This Victor is amazing, dude. Look at these stats. 94 contact versus righties. 114 versus lefties. He has amazing power versus lefties too. 95, 103 vision. Only 68 power versus righties. I'm pretty sure that was a lot better on his card in 17. And he only has 45 fielding, of course. I don't know. But, man, Ozzy Smith has insane fielding stats, pretty much. Look at that. 99. When do you see somebody with 99 fielding? Not every day. I don't even... When was the last time I saw somebody with 99 fielding? I don't even know. Good speed, amazing vision, amazing contact versus righties. But he has no power... So, Victor, let's go, buddy. Look at these two beasts on the team already. Victor and Vladdy. Wow. Where's the starter at? Yeah, what am I doing? I was, like, contemplating that. Pick the starter. Rookie Cargo. What the hell? When was this card in the game? So, I don't have any relievers right now. Not really. I also can't afford to waste a couple. Probably, yeah. All right, nice. Familia has... Yeah, he has... Wow, damn it. <laughs> Minus 10. Minus 10. Minus 12. Am I stupid? Minus 12 per nines. How annoying is that? I don't even know if I want to take James McCann because I'm not too sure if I want to use Victor behind the plate or at first base. Tula Whiskey, that is not even... Not even good, in my opinion. Damn, dude. I might just take Familia and then see... See what happens. Seems like every single reliever and closer has horrible inside edges. Anyone else notice that? Every day, every day, 
relievers and closers have horrible inside edges. Always starters have good ones, and relievers and closers have unbelievably bad inside edges. It's really crazy. Francisco Rodriguez. Man, I still have two of those gold rounds left and four. four. What? Four? What was I saying? Four silvers. So, I don't know, man. I, I do need somebody at least half decent for the pen. K-Rod's not bad, though. Not the worst. I don't want to... This is why I've been getting in trouble, too. I've always been taking these players I don't plan on using. Like, I'll be drafting these bronze players, and then I'll be like, all right, I'll put them on the bench, and then I won't end up getting a position player for that spot. So, I mean, I can afford to waste maybe one more spot. I do need a lefty. Wow, this team might be incredible. This might be the best offensive team of all time. It is. This might be insane! Victor Martinez, Corey Seager, Vladimir Guerrero, and Jake Lamb all on the same roster. Is this is this really happening right now? Because this might be the best offensive BR team I've ever drafted. Now, I can't screw this up. I can't. I, st I still have a gold round left. Four silvers. How many spots in the pen left? Three. So if I take Steve Pierce, he does have all right power versus lefties. He's playing up right now. Wow, plus 17. Holy shit. So he has 96? 96 power versus lefties right now. Wow. Wow. So I might, I might take Steve Pierce. I need righties too right now. That's another thing I need is righties. Dude, this might be the best BR team ever. <laughs> what am I seeing? This is also a tough pick because I do need somebody in the pen. This Kelvin Herrera is very good. Throws 99. Also can drop in that slaughter. Has the changeup. Look at the difference from the four seam and the changeup and the slaughter. Wow. I might I might be sitting here the rest of the day trying to make up my mind about this. If I take Sanchez right now, this might actually be the best offensive BR team of all time. You'd have Sanchez behind the plate. Victor Martinez at first base. Jake Lamb at third. Corey Seager at short. Vladimir Guerrero in right field. And Seager is playing up right now with, the, with that inside edge. I might faint. This is very, very tough. Very, very tough because I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have the best offensive team of all time and then not have somebody in the pen and then, and then screw it up first game because nobody's in the pen. You need somebody at least half decent. So if I take Sanchez, I have to take the, I have to take a risk. That's all I can say. I have to take a risk. And just hope that one of those silver rounds are some good relievers. Because some some silver relievers are just as good as golds, no question. But this might already be a very good team offensively. Look at Sanchez. He's playing up today too. Versus lefties. He's technically a diamond today. Plus eight contact and power versus lefties. I might be a corpse in my chair by the time this is over with. I don't know who I should take. This would most likely be the most balanced team of all time too because I'd have three lefties, three righties, and Martinez. Although I am still looking for somebody at second base. So one of those silver rounds, I will be looking for somebody at second base with. So man, I might, yeah, I'm taking Herrera, dude. I can't risk that. I can't do it. I mean, I could take Martin. That's not really a good pick in my opinion. Herrera is, wow, minus 10 today. Shit. All right, yeah, I might, I might have to take. I need a lefty. If I can walk away with a lefty, we are in business. I'm, I can't risk this. I can't. Minus eight. Why does everybody have a bad inside edge? Come on! Come on! 
I can't risk it, dude. I really can't. Only three rounds left after this. I doubt I'll get a lefty. I doubt it. So, right now, I'm looking for somebody. All right, nice. Castillo, plus 15 today. Well, that might be an obvious pick. That might be just as good as Sanchez, to be honest. Actually, not really, because he doesn't have that power, but still. Yeah, I do have to take a bronze starter, which I'm fine with. Dude, this offense might be insane. Look at this offense. Victor Martinez at the top of the order. Insane stats. Can bat from both sides, of course. You have Vladdy on the team. I don't even need to say anything else. Really? Then you have Corey Seager. I, I might actually, I don't even know. My eyes is all I can say, is my eyes. He has, wow, he has plus 10 today versus lefties. So he has 98 contact and 74 power. That's not that amazing for power, but Corey Seager is... Definitely a good diamond to you. Steve Pierce has plus 17 today versus lefties. Jake Lamb. Everybody knows Jake Lamb is probably the best player of all time in BR. He has an insane inside edge today too. I said the word insane probably 50 times describing this team, but that might be the only word you can use. Plus 15. So his stats versus righties are not bad. Cattell Marte can bat from both sides. He has 83 speed, so good speed. He can play short, second, and anywhere in the outfield. Good contact versus righties and all right vision. And then Bonifacio finishes it off, but man, that's that's not the worst stats for a bronze, really. Some bronzes have like 30 stats for hitting. So I'm fine with that. That's like the only player in the order right now who's not that amazing. Everyone else is incredible, man. Three diamonds, and then you have... Jake Lamb. So that's like four diamonds. And imagine, if I took Gary Sanchez, I'd be bleeding from the ears if I took Gary Sanchez. I'd be so in shock. If I didn't take Herrera, the pen would be so shitty. The pen would be horrible if I didn't take Herrera, man. Because three of my, yeah, three of them only have, well, they have bad inside edges. The only lefty I have has minus eight per nines today. Without that bad inside edge, this isn't too bad, I guess. Does have a good variety of pitches. 83 Ks per nine. I am very happy. I might dance like a fool in the middle of the room because I'm very excited to play with this team. And this draft took a while to do because I was sitting there for like five minutes trying to decide who should I take, Herrera or Sanchez. But yeah, man, look at this team again. Everybody, well, not everybody, but the live series players I have, good inside edges besides Jake Lamb and Bonifacio, but it's all right. I mean, you can't even, you can't even blink when you look at this lineup. Hopefully this team can do damage. If any team has to do damage, it's this team. This is probably the best offense I've drafted in BR of all time. I probably said that 50 times so far, but yeah. The next BR video will be out very shortly, I promise. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, subscribe as well. And I will see everybody in the next video.